And Berlin, are you going to be the one that um, calls the meeting to order and starts it for the chair appointment? I believe Zara will be handling that this morning. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's correct. Ariana, do I promote Michael Kenny yet? No, not yet. But can you promote? Um, am I promoted? I don't think I'm promoted. Yeah, you are. I am. Okay, great. Thank you. Good morning, Mayor. I should be specific. Good morning, Mayor Satella Solis. <laughs> Buenos dias, good morning. Can you hear me? Buenos dias, good morning. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Good morning. Yes, Buenos dias. Good, good, good morning, Mayor Sanchez. Good morning. Good morning. We can hear you. And it's nice to see you. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Good morning, Mayor Vasquez. Good morning. We can hear you. Good. Good morning, <laughs> Supervisor Lawson Raymer. Good morning. I think we have a quorum, Tessa. Looks like it. Yes, uh, Supervisor Vargas. Good morning, Supervisor Vargas. Uh, and we, we do have a quorum sorry. and um Sorry, Supervisor Vargas, did I interrupt you? I apologize. Oh, no, no, I was just responding to you. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, we do have a quorum and we do not expect any other attendees this morning. Okay, thank you, Tessa. Good morning. Welcome to our teleconference meeting of the Selection Committee for the Independent Taxpayer Oversight Committee or ITOC. My name is Zara Selegian and I'm your ITOC staff liaison. Thank you to everyone for taking the time to join us today. Before we jump into the meeting, I will ask our clerk to confirm that we have a quorum, and I believe you have already did that, uh, Tessa. So um, uh, I will move to the next uh, part. Um, before we get started, I would like to ask our interpreter, Carlos Diaz, to walk through um, how to access uh, our interpretation services for today's meeting. Carlos, please proceed. Good morning, buenos dias. As was just announced, we are uh, providing simultaneous interpretation for this meeting. I will begin with the instructions in Spanish and I will be back with the instructions in English. Buenos dias, se está ofreciendo servicio de interpretación al español. Para hacer uso del mismo, por favor desplácese a la parte inferior de la pantalla de Zoom donde aparecen sus controles. Haga clic en el icono de interpretación, parece un globo terráqueo, y seleccione Spanish o Español. Si está utilizando la aplicación móvil de Zoom, en celular, tableta, etc., presionaría primero los puntos suspensivos, more o más, luego interpretación y luego el idioma. Por último, si no desea escuchar el audio original en inglés en el fondo, por favor seleccione mute original audio o silenciar audio original. Once again, simultaneous interpretation is being provided to and from Spanish in the event that there were any Spanish comments. Um, you can take advantage of the interpretation feature by scrolling down to the bottom of the Zoom screen where your meeting controls are. 
There you would click on the interpretation icon. It looks like a little world as you see on screen and you would select English as your language. If you are joining through the Zoom mobile app on a cell phone, tablet or other mobile device, you would press the ellipsis, the three dots that say more, then interpretation and then choose your language. Finally, click on mute original audio if you do not want to hear the original Spanish low in the background. Gracias and thank you. Thank you, Carlos. I'd like to remind our members and public of our process for both member and public comments. The members will be using their cameras and we will take live public comments. Members are asked to turn on their cameras when they have a comment or a question, and then the chair will recognize you. As noted on the cover page of today's meeting agenda, in addition to emailing comments, the public may also provide live comments during today's meeting. In order to provide live comments, when public comments are called for on an item on the Zoom platform, uh, click on the raise hand icon in the Zoom toolbar on the top right of the screen. If you are participating by telephone, press star nine. The clerk um, th will call on you by the last three digits of the telephone number. The instructions for providing live comments are also on the bottom of the cover page of today's meeting agenda, which can be accessed from the homepage of Sandag's website at www.sandag.org. All comments, whether emailed or live, will be made a part of today's meeting record. The first item of business on your agenda today is item number one, selection of a chair. And the committee is asked to select a chairperson for purposes of conducting the meeting. As a reminder, this means we will need a motion and a second, and then the clerk will conduct a roll call vote. If you have a question or comment or would like to nominate a member as chair, please turn on your camera and provide comment or nomination. After a chair is selected and, provide, uh, and approved, uh, then staff will turn it over to the appointed chair to run the meeting, but will remain available to assist as necessary. Are there any nominations for chair? Mayor Sanchez has your hands raised. Yes, I'd like to nominate um, Alejandro Sotelo Police. And I'll second that. <laughs> Sanchez. Thank you. Um, so, um, um, Chair, we can now move uh, to item number two. I know, I'm sorry, we, we need a vote. We, we oh, need to I'm take sorry. a vote, Zara. Okay. So well, I'll go ahead and start that. So we yes, have a motion please. by Mayor Sanchez, and I believe the second was from Supervisor Vargas. And I will no, call the roll call. It was, oh. it was uh, Esther Sanchez. No, the okay. motion. The motion was. The motion was from. Oh, I'm so sorry. The motion was from Raquel Vasquez, and it was seconded by um, Sanchez. Yes. Thank you. I'll call the roll call vote. City of San Diego is absent. County of San Diego seat A. Supervisor Lawson Raymer. Aye. County of San Diego seat B, Supervisor Norris, Vargas, sorry. Vargas, aye. East County, Mayor Vasquez. Aye. North County Coastal, Mayor Sanchez. Sanchez, aye. North County Inland, Mayor Vaz. Aye. And South County, Mayor Sotelo Solis. Sotelo Solis, aye. That motion passes unanimously, unanimously with those members. All right, thank you so much. Let's get this party started. Let's do this. <laughs> All right, thank you, Zara. Thank you, staff. Uh, now that we move through item one, we will now see, um, we do have a consent calendar item two. Uh, this is for the Transnet Independent Taxpayer Oversight. Move Taxpayer approval. Over Overview. All right, move for approval. Uh, Mayor Boss, do we hear a second? Second by Sanchez. Second by um, Mayor Sanchez. Chair, yes. That, that uh, item is uh, information uh, only. Okay, well, I want to make sure that everybody knows that it was in, in consent second. calendar. <laughs> okay, that was for consent. We did have a motion and a second. Um, uh, but again, this is for information only. 
Uh, I'm glad we are on it with people ready to make a motion because uh, this is going to move us quite quickly. Thank you so much, um, Mayor Voss and Mayor Sanchez. Okay, we now move on to item three. It's the Transnet Independent Taxpayer Oversight Committee reappointment of a current member. Again, I'll turn it over to Zara, but the uh, selection committee is asked to consider the reappointment of a current member in the licensed um, architect, civil engineer, as well as uh, me, um, traffic engineer category for the term of up to four years. And this will be for the term uh, going through May, 2026. So Zara, go ahead. Thank you, Chair. As part of item number three, we have one reappointment of the ITOC that you will be considering today. We are seeking reappointment of one member for the category of licensed architect, civil engineer, or traffic engineer. With one applicant being recommended for your consideration, we have Michael Kenny, who is available today on this call. Application and resume for the applicant is included in your agenda packet starting on page 16 of your PDF. In terms of the approach to conducting the selection process, there are a few options available to the committee. The committee could choose to use the materials included in, the, in its agenda to vote on the candidate for the position without interviewing the candidate, or the committee can ask the applicant to say a few words about himself, and then the committee can vote to uh, appoint the member. The committee could also ask questions of the applicant before making its decision. In previous years, we have started with the applicant giving a brief one to two minute introduction and let members ask questions if they wish. Then after the committee has had an opportunity to deliberate, the vote has been taken. Uh, these are just some options. Of course, committee may uh, wish to handle things differently. If the selection committee decides to conduct an interview, then the staff will request that the applicant join the meeting. A set of interview questions was sent to the selection committee as an example. Of course, the selection committee can uh, ask different questions if they wish. Uh, at the conclusion of the interview, candidate will be asked to log off. After the interview is conducted, then deliberation amongst uh, selection committee members could proceed. As a friendly reminder, the deliberation will be conducted in open session and available for members, applicant, and the public to observe. The applicant has been informed of the process. So with that, Chair, we will go ahead and follow your lead in terms of how you would like to proceed. I do have one hand raised that I have Mayor Voss. So I'm gonna go ahead and call on him really quick and then... Um... Thank you. Uh, we have one candidate for reappointment that candidate has been recommended by the technical screening committee. I would recommend we move directly to uh, reappointing Mr. Kenny. Okay, so I do have a motion on the floor. Do I hear a second? I see Mayor Sanchez with their hands up. Uh, I got a second before we, uh, we have a motion and a second on the floor. Before we do that, I will ask uh, the clerk if we had any members of the public wishing to address us. Um, on this appointment here for ITOC. Good morning, and I apologize. I did um, fail to ask for public comments on items one and two. So if there's anyone in the public that has comments on items one, two, or three, please raise your hand now. Seeing no hands raised, Chair, there are no public comments on these items. All right. Uh, this is for reappointment uh, for Mr. Mike. So we do have a motion and a second on the floor. Any other discussion for members on the virtual dais here? Clarification needed? No? Good to go. All right. Let's call the roll. Great. City of San Diego is absent. County of San Diego, seat A, Supervisor Lawson Raymer. Aye. County of San Diego, seat B, Supervisor Vargas. Vargas, aye. East County, Mayor Vasquez. Aye. North County Coastal, Mayor Sanchez. Sanchez, aye. North County Inland, Mayor Boss. Aye. And South County, Chair Pro Tem, Mayor Sotelo Solis. Sotelo Solis, aye. And that motion passes unanimously with those members present. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, congratulations again to our reappointee. And thank you to members of the ITOC. Uh, we do wanna uh, ask if there were any other members of the public wishing to address us on anything that is not on the agenda. Um, we'll just ask it for good measure. And any member comments? 
I do have a member of the public that has their hands raised on this um, item, Chair. Oh, okay, why don't we go ahead and let them uh, address us. Dr. Tim Belash, go ahead, you're unmuted. Thank you, committee, for taking my comments. Timothy Bylash, I'm a physician and scientist residing in Mid-County, San Diego, and I appreciate San Diego staff and membership and committee members for their uh, actions. Uh, I want to make a comment about something because I've been seeing only reports in the news and I'm a little bit confused. My best understanding about the filed independent report and the stated uh, comments by the auditor at the meetings appear somewhat contrary to the news reports. And uh, just last week, I saw an additional discussion of this. I'm a little puzzled. That we don't have a better place to resolve some of these inaccurate inaccuracies. Uh, my best understanding from the information is that first, no alcoholic beverages were purchased on Sandag cards. This is contrary to what was reported in the media. Secondly, many of the questioned activities did not violate policy because there were no policies in place. It is ultimately the responsibility of the board, not the executive for these proposed lacks. The executive follows the direction of the board. COVID restrictions, third, COVID restrictions and in the intense nature of managing multi-billion dollar deliberations should put the dollar amounts of this in context over the long period of time that these happened, many of them before the current directors were in place. I'm not close to having the expertise to look at these audits, but I can offer my own personal opinion. I've attended the discussion and reviewed the audit report recommendations. In particular, the restriction of access to charge cards. These have been wholeheartedly accepted by the executive and should be applauded for that. But there appear to me conflicting legal requirements as I read, restricting Sandag employees from accepting gifts, while at the same time, Sandag being required to pay, which will restrict the flow of information between the different diverse parties, uh, parties that are involved. Sandag appears to me a very unique organization which has a really great track record. And part of that is because they bring all disparate parts of the county, state, and nation together to deal with the transportation issues of, this, of the county. And so I am concerned that there will be continuing conflicts which will damage the ability for Sandag to recruit staff necessary in the future to continue their exemplary progress. Thank you for allowing me to talk. Thank you so much. We really appreciate your comments. Are there any other members of the public wishing to address us during the public comments? Great. There are no other hands raised for public comments. All right. Uh, are there any member comments? Seeing none, we will uh, adjourn this meeting. It is 9.16. We thank you all for your service for uh, to ITOC. Um, the meeting adjourned. Thank you so much. Thank you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Have a nice weekend.